Hello and welcome to this video. This video is about the warehouse management app data inquiry flow feature that is released in app 10.0.29. This feature increases the usability of the warehouse management mobile application by introducing a new menu item for the data inquiry. The new menu item is generic and flexible enough the way that could help the warehouse workers to look up the required information and to select the related records from a list rather than entering the data manually that will speed up the process, increase the data accuracy, and reduce the data entry issues. This feature is available since application release 10.0.29 and it's managed by the Feature Management Workspace. Once the feature is enabled, a new activity code for the data inquiry will be available. The data inquiry menu item could be used as a generic data lookup menu item so the users can inquire for a specific information and also it could be used as a data menu item so the users can copy and paste the data across the menu items during the same flow. And now let's review a quick demo on how to define a data inquiry menu item. In this demo, we're going to define three data inquiry menu items. The first one to show the purchase orders that will be received today. And the second menu item to show the purchase orders of a specific vendor searching by the vendor's name. And the third one to show the line details of a specific purchase order. So first, I'll navigate to the Feature Management Workspace to enable the Warehouse Management App Data Inquiry Flow feature. Then, let's navigate to the Mobile Device menu items, and here I have created three menu items. The first one for the purchase orders by vendor name. Indeed, this is an indirect menu item for activity code data inquiry. Then, in the table name, I have selected purchase table since I'm looking for the purchase order information. After that, I define the edit query of this menu item. Here you can define any criteria with multiple conditions as per the business requirements, as well as the sorting logic. For this menu item, I'm looking for the open purchase orders. So here I selected open order for the purchase order status. Then, since the vendor name is the main filter criteria of this menu item, I left it blank where the users should be able to specify or enter the vendor name. Then in the sorting logic, I'm sorting by the vendor account, then the purchase orders ascending. Then here in the feed list, you could select the displayed information of this menu item. You can select either fields or methods of the purchase table. So here I have the vendor account, the vendor name, the confirmed delivery date, and the purchase order status. The second menu item for the line details of a specific purchase order. So here I have selected the purchase line table, then in the edit query, I'm also filtered by the open purchase order lines, then the purchase order number. In the field list, here I have the line number, the item ID, the item name, purchase order quantity, and the purchase order status. Then the third menu item, this is for the purchase orders that should be received today. Here, I selected the purchase table, then in the edit query, I'm filtered by the open purchase orders, and here in the confirmed delivery date equal day zero or today. Then in the field list, here I have the purchase order number, purchase order status, the vendor name, vendor account, and the confirmed delivery date. Now, Let's move to the mobile device menu and move the three menu items underneath the inquiry menu. So I'll select here the purchase orders by vendor name, purchase orders items, and the purchase orders of today. Now let's review the three menu items. I have created three purchase orders for vendor account Mohammed Chuman with different delivery dates. Let's navigate to the mobile application and the first menu item is the purchase orders by vendor name. Here we can see the default filter criteria, which is purchase order status equal open order. And here we can filter by the vendor name. Here we can enter the full vendor name or we can use the option of contains and part of the vendor name like Shoman then contains. 
And here we can see that we have three purchase orders. And indeed, the information that displayed here could be configured as per the menu item. The second menu item here is the purchase order lines. I'll click here, purchase order items. And here we have the default status of line status equal open order. Then here you should enter a purchase order. So let's copy this purchase order for example. Then I'll click enter. Here we can see that this purchase order has two lines. The first line for item number 1002 and the second line for item number 1052. Then let's navigate the third menu item, which is for the purchase orders of today. Here we can see the default filter, purchase order status equal open order and the confirmed delivery date for today. Once I click here, okay, then here we can see that we have only one purchase order for today. Now let's review another quick demo on how to utilize the data inquiry menu items in details. In this demo, I'm going to define two details to help the users to identify the required information in the purchase order receiving flow. The first menu item to show the purchase orders either by searching by the vendor name or the purchase orders of today. And the second menu item to show the order line details so the users can select which item or line number to receive. So this could resolve the challenges of the missing information in the purchase order receiving flow and achieve the common user requirements out of the box, like the user can review all the available information in the purchase order header, receive the purchase orders by multiple criteria, like by the purchase order ID, delivery date, or the vendor name, review the order line details, like the order quantity, remaining quantity, and so on, as well as select which line to receive, and so many other scenarios, as per the business requirements. Now let's review how to configure the app data for the purchase order receiving flow. The first step for the purchase order number. So here in the step ID, I selected PO num. Then I'll click here at the step configuration and select the menu item for the purchase order receiving. So I'll type here PO, it's PO item received. Then I'll click OK. Then here in the available details, I'm going to add the menu items that we just created. The purchase orders by vendor name and purchase orders of today. After that, we have to select the fields that will be copy and paste across the menu items. So for the purchase orders of today, I'll click here, select fields to send. We don't have to copy or paste something from the purchase order item receiving to the purchase orders of today, but we need to copy the purchase order ID from the purchase orders of today. So I'll select from here the purchase order and indeed these fields are the fields that we configured in the field list in the menu item. So here I'll select purchase order, then I'm gonna paste this in the purchase order item receiving. So I'll select here purchase order as well. And I'll perform the same for the purchase orders by vendor name. I'll click select fields to send. Then here I'll copy the purchase order and I'm gonna paste it here in the purchase order. Then I'll click OK. For the second step in the purchase order receiving flow, which is for the item ID, here I selected item ID in the step ID. Then I'm gonna configure this for the purchase order item received menu item. Here in the app details, we can see that I selected the purchase orders item. Then here in the select fields to send, I'm gonna copy the purchase order number from the purchase order item received. Then I'll paste it into the purchase order items. Then I'm gonna copy the purchase the sorry the item number from the purchase order items. Then paste it into the purchase order item received. And now let's review how it works. So here I'll navigate to inbound purchase order, purchase order item receiving. Then here in the step of enter purchase order number, we can see that we have two details. The first one for the purchase orders of today and the second one for the purchase orders by vendor name. I'll use this one, purchase orders by vendor name. Then here you should specify the vendor name. So I'll type contains 
Lumen, then here we can see that we have three purchase orders. I'll pick this one. Then we can see the purchase order number is automatically pasted here in the menu item. I'll click OK. Then we are moved to the uh, next step to scan the item number. Here we can see that we have detour for the purchase orders item. I'll click here. Then we can see the purchase order number is automatically pasted from the previous menu item, purchase order item receiving, to the PO items. I'll click OK. Here we can see that we have two items or two lines in this purchase order. I'll select this item for receiving. Then we can see the item number is pasted here. Then I'll click OK. I'll select the quantity one. I'm confirm. Then the purchase order is received. So this was a quick demo on how to utilize the warehouse management app data inquiry flow feature that is released in app 10.0.29. I hope it will help. Thank you for your time and watching this video. Take care and good luck.